Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to deploy a fully functional WordPress site using Docker containers. And we are not using Docker Compose in this video. So in Docker Compose, we have to write a YAML file in which we have to mention the services we want to use. Uh, so with Docker Compose, it is easy to deploy the WordPress site. So we are not using that in this tutorial. So let's get started. So the very first thing we have to do is we have to download the MySQL server for our WordPress site and we have to configure it. So let's go to command prompt. So first we have to download the MySQL image. For that you have to use docker pull mysql command. So the MySQL image is pulled successfully. But now if we try to run this image, it will give us a prompt. Let's see. Docker run MySQL. You can see here, it will give us a prompt that you need to specify one of the following as an environment variable. So there are three environment variables for the MySQL image. MySQL root password, hello empty password or random root password. So we have to mention any one of them while running the container. So how we can do that? Simply while running the container docker run and we use minus D for detach mode. And here we have to give the name to the container with minus minus name option. Uh, give any name to the container like uh, uh, DB. And here you have to mention the environment variable with minus E option minus E and copy this MySQL root password equal to and here give any root password for your MySQL database. Give any password like I am giving here WordPress. And after that mention the image name MySQL. And hit enter. You can see here it returns the container ID. Let's check it by docker ps command. Now you can see here our MySQL container is running. And name is db. So now we have to create a database for our WordPress site. We can do that using the phpMyAdmin image. So just pull the docker pull phpMyAdmin image. Now the phpMyAdmin image is pulled. And now first let's clear the screen. Now we have to run the container from the phpMyAdmin image. So let's run docker run minus d in detach mode and here also we have to map the php my admin port 80 with the system port so for that we use minus p and here mention the your system port first like 5000 and mention the 80 port of php my admin and here mention the name of the image that is php my admin So simply click enter. So here you can see it returns the container ID. Let's check it by docker ps command. So now you can see our uh, PHP my admin container is running on and it is listening on the port 5000. So let's see this in the browser. Local host 5000. So you can see here it is the default login page of phpMyAdmin. But there is one issue here. You can see here there is not the option for the server. We have to mention here our MySQL server's IP address. But there is not the option right now available here. So to get that option we have to change the run command a little bit. Let's see. Here you can see the previous docker command. And now we have to pass an environment variable in this command. That is PMA arbitrary. Here we have to mention minus E and PMA underscore arbitrary. And we have to give one value to this. And, and also uh, we have to change the port right now. 
one container is already running on the 5000 port so let's change this to the 5001 and uh, all right okay press enter so it returns a container id let's see docker ps so you can see here our php my admin is running on and listening on the new port 5001 so let's see this in the browser so it is the 5000 port you can see here if i change here the port to 5001 so here you can see right now the server option arrives and here we have to mention our mysql ip address so let's see what is the ip address of our mysql database so to find the ip address of our this container we have to use the command docker inspect docker inspect and here we have to mention the container id and press enter so you can see here the ip address here is 172.17.0.2 so it is the ip address of our this my mysql uh, database so let's fill this here and the default username for mysql is root and the password is that we have mentioned before that is wordpress simply click login and you can see here right now we are logged into our mysql database and here we have to create a database for our wordpress site let's create by clicking here new and database name give any name like a wordpress and create and also you can create a new user for this wordpress database by clicking here privileges and click on add user account here give username give any username or password like i'm giving the same username or password And here simply uh, give all the privileges check call and click on go so here you can see our user is created for this database now we are all set with configuring mysql database now let's download the wordpress image and link it to this mysql database simply clear the screen and now we have to pull the wordpress image simply type docker pull wordpress and hit enter the wordpress image is pulled successfully so before running the wordpress image let me show you something if we go here in our docker desktop app and search here wordpress You can see here in the documentation of this image here is a section how to use this image so here are some environment variables given here which we have to set during the creation of container from this image so you can see this documentation so let's create a container from this image so here first let's enter docker ps command so uh, it is our mysql image and the name is db so now we have to run the container from the wordpress image so simply enter docker run and here minus d for detach mode and here we have to give any name to this container like uh, give any name wordpress site and now we have to map the port of the container for that we use minus p and uh, give any port like 8080 to the 80 of the containers port so now we have to declare the environment variables see here to so simply copy and paste it here so here is one important thing to notice 
uh, in WordPress DB host, we have to mention the name of our this MySQL image container. You can see here the container MySQL and the name is DB. And here we have to give the exact name that is our MySQL server name. And after that, copy the another variables. So here in these variables, you have to give the value uh, which you have given here in your database, like the database user, the password of the database user and the database name. Give the same values which you have mentioned here. And after that, we have to link this container with the MySQL container. For that, you have to use minus minus link option. Here mention the DB and the DB. This DB is for the this DB host and this DB is for the MySQL name. So after that you have to give the image name that is WordPress. And simply click enter. Now here it will return the container ID. Let's see docker ps command. Now our WordPress container is running on port 8080. Now let's try to access this port. Uh, localhost 8080 and you can see the installation page of the wordpress is opened successfully simply click continue and here give any site title like a give username Uh, you can give any email like uh, admin at the rate test.com. It doesn't matter, you can give any uh, email here. Install WordPress. So, WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. So, let's log in. Uh, the username is WordPress and the password is also WordPress. here and simply click on login and here you can see the dashboard of the wordpress so a wordpress is installed successfully uh, you can see here You can make any change. You can also you can also change the theme from here. And here, if we visit the site, you can see our title is changed. So WordPress is installed successfully. So that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there is any issue or error regarding the installation of the WordPress, please tell me in the comment section. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos.